everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see what is ABC indexing how it differs from Scopus indexing and we will see a little more about ABC indexing so as you can see this is the uh, home screen of ABC indexing ABCD index so what does it mean it means that academic business current data so a for academic business current data index which is a free to access platform for the scholars okay mm -hmm researchers publishers everything so it offers a systemic um, systematic research with filters for international journals publishers and research papers so this platform was created to provide a single platform that offers genuine information about various types of journals including uh, including their related indexing details this initiative addresses the challenges posed by some journals that are irregular in their operations or have good indexing but lack of responsive so this key features are like um, international journal information like valid ESS, uh, EISSN journal correct time uh, correct name okay so website link publisher name country year of start everything in detail okay so that is what the purpose of this academic journal so here you can see uh, if you just go uh, and click on this about and if you click on this journal it will take you to this page okay so here you can see this is like if you click here it is the journal uh, uh, information if you wanted to uh, learn more about the journal information you can see this is an article okay so just you can type the journal information just simply type computer science okay so if you just type computer science and press search so you can see some information regarding the computer science journal so international journal for computer science jisuang journal of universal computer science so all these things and here you can see there are a lot of in other information like paid or free okay and this is indexing which indexing is such is it means that you can this is a collective um this is a consolidated website where you can find all the indexing in one one go okay so here you can see the scopus ssci esci ugc care everything all the indexings are there here and you can also see the rating a b c d so if you want to know about the rating what is that what does this a b c d means please leave a comment yes i want to know about the rating i'll be creating a separate video for you and i will be showing that so here <coughs> let us go with this okay journal of universal science once if you click here in the journal of universal science you can see that what is the name of the journal okay what is the issn what is pissn and <clears throat> you can see if you want to know more about this detail when it is when the first uh, uh, volume of this e, uh, res, this particular journal started and how many issues per year and what are the areas it covers okay what is the website okay and this is indexed in scopus since years 1996 to 2021 but i always recommend you to just go and cross check in the scopus indexing as well let us go to the scopus indexing here so this is a scopus index page just click the source okay so where you can just go and search for journal of universal computer science so let us just go and type here go to the title and type journal of universal <coughs> So Journal of Universal Computer Science is there. Okay, let us just click that and also let us just click on this Journal of Universal Computer Science and see whether it is still there in Scopus. Yes, it is there in Scopus 1996 to present. But what here they have mentioned is what they have mentioned like 1996 to 2021. So this is not updated. I always recommend you to go and cross check this before you uh, finalize before you confirm that okay this is what the complete details of this particular journal okay this is the one and here you can see this is the um this is the link of the journal okay so once if you scroll down you can see it's a free of charge policy but here you can see that they have mentioned <coughs> mentioned that this is publication is paid okay so this is also you have to just take care of this but you know like they have give they are abcd indexing they are giving us some information where you can easily see right so you can just cross check from here and go and check here as well and uh, here you can see acceptance rate is less than 18 percentage so what is that acceptance rate for example if they are receiving 100 papers for this month they are only accepting less than 18 papers okay so acceptance rate is less than 18 percentage 
less than 18 so it is less than 18 percent it's a free of uh, charge policy and here you can see the editorial decision is 73 days i think within, within three months of time they are just giving back uh, that is they are giving you the result and of course if it is um accepted like if the manuscript can be accepted then they'll be uh, sending the reply soon okay so here you can see that there are more informations about it like become an author become an editor so if you have already completed phd you can become an editor then click author guidelines so all these things which, which you have to specifically see is what you have to check what is the information to the author okay so written in flawless english you have to just go ahead with the english no submission or publication charge fees okay the average acceptance rate is below 20 percentage and the average duration is six to ten weeks so this is very important and then you can see what are the list of topics they are uh, they are uh, accepting and all these about uh, this particular uh, journal information now let us understand what is the difference between the scopus and abcd so the main difference between the scopus and abcd is what scopus is a large multidisciplinary database owned by elsewhere one of the world's major providers of scientific technical and medical information and the key features are like you can find the content uh, that is the scopus coverages over all the uh, science technology medicine social science arts and humanities and all the domains so what is the major difference is what scopus are the broader scope covering a wide range of disciplines and types of documents while abcd focuses more specifically on journals and research papers scopus offers advanced bibliometric analysis tools whereas abcd is more about providing straightforward information on the journals and the papers scopus requires a subscription typically institutional while abcd is free to access yes of course you can access the um journal information free of like directly you can access the journal information but if you want any specific uh, thing about uh, scopus you have to just subscribe to it and finally scopus serves a broad academic audience including institutions for research analysis while abcd is particularly beneficial for individual researchers especially those early in their careers might be in the future abcd may become a wide um, uh, it may cover a broader scope and uh, may also have multiple disciplines in order to uh, explore but abcd here you can find the consolidated information as i told you can just go and find the consolidated information about the journal so here you can see once i type computer science you can uh, you can see various information uh, relate various journals related to computer science and once if you type here any any specific indexing like uh, if you are uh, searching for ugc care and you can just go ahead with the paid or free and click search so you can find few more information about the uh, journal so this is what the specific um specific highlight of abcd indexing but yes we have more to explore i have more to explore about abcd indexing and i will also suggest you to please go and cross check before you finalize any journal if you have any queries or if you want to know more about this journal this indexing please leave a message i'll be helping you out thank you take care bye bye